Yo, yo, yo. Hey. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Hope you had a good weekend with your family or loved ones. Um, yeah, let's uh let's get into the market. Let's uh dig around, look at some charts, see what's going on. Hey, so um looking at spy here briefly. Uh the uh, market's about to close here uh, in 15 minutes. Uh, you do have a clean break here. This is looking looking like a shorter term distribution is what occurred um, on this gap up that you had in pre market. Uh, obviously through futures, um, you had a gap up. This now is looking like a U tad. You've broken support here. This was like your original sign of weakness. You look like you're retesting the bottom of this distribution. I still am expecting a retest of liquidity here in that red uh, zone, which is the golden zone that we marked out from our previous video. Uh, actually, looking like the 707 to the 786 there, which which is a good re region to be retesting in these sorts of conditions. But let's just double check. I think we probably had it somewhere. Huh. Somewhere further back? No? Okay. Yeah, maybe I was just saying 707 to the 786 then. Um, but yeah, regardless, I am I am expecting a test of that. Hey, let me check. Let me let me make my numbers bigger. I thought about this before the video. So it's easier for you guys to see. Can I change it on my fib as well? I'm not sure if I can do that. That seems huh, that might be a little bit too much for you guys, you know. Uh yeah, I can. Boom. All right. Now it's going to be all cluttery, but that's okay. I'll do anything for you. Okay. Anything. Um, I'd do anything for you. Let me make it a little bit brighter. There you go. All right. So, yeah. So, um, obviously here, since you've broken this yellow support that we pointed out, I'm pretty sure we pointed this out in the last video. Um, if I didn't, uh, comment down below and let me know. Maybe I'll make a video. I mean, I don't have to make a video on this. This is just a short-term support trend that we had drawn out. Uh, extended hours might be retracing it, but you can see you've clearly broken below it here. Um, and this is just going to give you, going to trigger you to go down further. Now, you, what could happen is you could find support here temporarily on this uh, 380 level and then, then get pushed further down, right? Um, like a typical LPSY in a, in a Wyckoff distribution. Um, so that, that could be the look that you get, you, you press down or maybe you find support on that, on that 618. But like I've said in the past few videos, the market really likes 707s lately. Um, so I particularly, that's kind of the levels that I've been looking for. I want to see the price start to wedge out like a falling wedge before I start to get excited about reversal in those cases. But yeah, I mean, uh, when it came when it came to this this kind of markup phase here, you know, a lot of times you're gonna want to fill that gap that you leave behind on spy, especially. Um, and then, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty clear move um, that occurred here. You came you you broke down here. Uh, you came back for a little retest of this uh, two three six before you just failed right through this uh, this support trend this. Uh, this bull trend that you had here on the short term. So, yeah, I think that you're definitely driving down further. Like I said, tomorrow you could have a green day, but then you're going to end up retesting this liquidity of 375 to 376. Um, looking at AMC, uh, you've continued your rally on AMC. Uh, I have, you know, the past few videos, uh, you've, you've had these rallies. I've called for deeper retraces on every on every instance, and... Uh, AMC is holding up strongly, guys. Like it, it, it just continues to to rally through. Um, you know, it creates these sort of wedge looks, like it did here. We got the expected break that we got a retest, a failure, um, and then it just held fourteen seventy five, a strong support, shot right back up here. So you're gonna have a similar challenge going into uh, the next trading days, right? So you're gonna have this sort of wedge look that's gonna occur. You probably get pushed back down here. Um, so maybe you, you test this, uh, oh, what am I talking about? I mean, it's just going to not do this because I'm saying it. Um, you come back down, maybe you test in this 16 ish region, uh, high 15s, uh, see if you can hold support here lately. It's been getting these rising wedge looks and just volume pumping right through, which is a good sign. I mean, uh, especially in the, in the current market conditions, it keep, keeps getting pushed forward. Um, Looking at Bitcoin here, whoo, big nasty four-hour candle you have here. But uh, Bitcoin was continuing its rally um, as projected here. 
you broke this uh, red downtrend that we had in place here, right? Um, he, you broke out, and then you you just have gotten slammed down below it. Uh, my previous video, I was feeling a little bit more shaky about Bitcoin, and this is starting to make me feel even more shaky. Uh, people are going to start, people on Twitter or YouTube, things like that, are going to be calling this a bear flag, okay? Um, sure, I mean, everybody was saying that, that you have like a, uh, like a bear pennant look occurring here uh, on SPY, for example. But this is, the, to me, this is an ascending triangle that everybody was calling a, a bear pennant. Or they do this, which is a symmetric triangle, um, which doesn't really have, have, if anything, the setup was was more bullish, um, you know, which which kind of gave you that drive up in price. You're you're riding this price trend. Now you're getting pushed back down for a retest. Um, but I, I, this isn't a bear flag in, in my opinion. Um, that's not that's not how I'm reading it. At least you do have weakening volume here. So uh, I again, I'm I'm expecting a retest of liquidity down here for 375. But anyway. With Bitcoin, now what, what really needs to happen is I am becoming much more, I was bullish on Bitcoin when we were back down here. Um, I said, you know, $19,000 was the was the level to buy. It gets sent up off of $19,000. Um, well, it, it went a little bit below, eighteen nine five three, And then I was bullish back here as well. Um, at like 19 to 286. I do still think that there's a possibility that you get sent up to, to 28,000, but Bitcoin has to do some things here. Uh, it can't, it can't just can, it can't get pressed back down below here and then retest the bottom of this. I mean, you're, you're going to have to see some bullish action. Uh, bulls have had their chance multiple times now. Um, so now you're starting to get into the territory of, okay, we get back down here. It is obviously going to be a buying opportunity because it historically has been. You're in a very historic region for Bitcoin, right? This is the $20,000 level. This was the 2017 bull cycle top, right? So it's going to act as very strong support, but you, but at the same time, yeah, you're going to have a big nasty candle on this. This daily candle is, uh like a like a big nasty shooting star but when you look at it on the daily you can kind of see that you're retesting um this horizontal level of of previous resistance so you could make the case here that perhaps you're just having a uh you know a retest of back up lps to this level right now um and then you're gonna you're gonna continue to press forward i would i would not be buying like a new long position until i see some validation here from bulls so what I want to see is a break of this red downtrend here uh, before I would enter a new long. And even I might even be more privy to want to short here, short here with a tight stop, right? So like maybe uh, what, I, what I'll be looking for, I might actually be watching this tonight, is it comes here, boom, you get, you, you get a test of this 21.9. I would be shorting, okay? Um, and then if it breaks through here, on this level, like a uh, twenty one nine eight seven, like a really tight stop like that, um, then I can go long, or maybe maybe just twenty two thousand, right? We just call it twenty two thousand flat. We we wait for it to break through and then come back for a little retest of this level, and then you that could be a good long opportunity. I, I would be playing Bitcoin really closely right now, though. I'm I'm not as certain about direction as I was last week. Um, I think you, uh, you know, this is a this is a tough rejection, guys. The volume really weakened out there. Um, but I do want to get into a more broad uh, look here. My ES1 chart from my mobile, for some reason, is just not transferring over on uh, Trading View. I might actually have to contact them and ask them about that. They're usually pretty helpful. Um, but I have a really complicated chart that's got a bunch of levels and stuff like that that's on my... Uh, <laughs> That's on my uh, my mobile, um, and I would like that to transfer here because it would be really good for a video. But uh, I did make this more macro view, okay? So this is SPX, the all-time SPX chart, right? So this one goes back to, you know, uh, 1872. Um, you have this, you know, this was the Great Depression, and then the bottom for World War II, uh, peak fear in the market. You found support here in 1974, 1982, um, and then in the 2008 market market crash, the housing crash, 
Um, <clears throat> and then you started this new uptrend, right, guys? Um, so from 08 to 2020, right? This was the COVID bottom right here. This is your new uptrend. So the first thing that you're gonna you're gonna look at here is say, okay, you pull a Fibonacci to the to the top in December, right? And right now you're sitting on your two three six Fibonacci three eight five nine. This is this is a big this is a big moment for this chart, right? Um, and then if you were to come back and retest this, this would be the the three eight two perhaps, right? Maybe maybe this gets a little bit more drawn out into into next year, right? You could have this more bearish trend going into next year and then you come down and test your 382 this is about 325 on spy it, it, it's about it's close right it's not one to one so like this is 383 uh and right now spy is trading at 381 but you get the idea right if you i mean this is a this is a brutal uh brutal bear market brutal market for bulls i would expect uh the the look would be something more similar to this where you get some recovery and then you get sent down below here right and then you test this sort of thing and then you get sent up or maybe you could have continuation of the bear market at that point but i did want to point out that there is an interest another interesting way to view this trend line here and that is if you if you pull it here right so to get rid of some of the noise here you you are on your 236, remember? And now we get rid of this Fibonacci. Suddenly, you have found support. Uh, arrow, arrow, arrow. Give me an arrow. There you go. You have found support here from December 2018, right? So this is 2008, December 2018. Now what you're doing is you're possibly riding... The, in the, I mean, very likely, this is actually why you're finding support right now here for bulls, right? I don't think it's a horizontal level that you're finding. I think it's a... So let's look at this on the four-hour, a little bit more zoomed in. And you can see right now, this thing is really testing this trend line. And obviously, we've looked at... Uh, and this is a logarithmic chart, by the way. So make sure you're charting in log if you're doing these macro perspectives. Uh, I think it's really important. But uh, yeah, and then so remember our trend line that we've drawn on SPY, and I also sh probably showed you on ES1. Um, this is your support trend, and then this is your previous resistance trend. I think this kind of just goes further into the argument of um, the likelihood here um, is... is you get sent up. I think I, I just find it hard to believe that this sort of historic trend line isn't going to create, right, because it's coming from 2018, isn't going to create some sort of relief rally, right? And then you can get your big nasty rundown. Um, and, and maybe even then you, you can run down even further, right, because this, this green support trend that we've had, and that's when you break this trend, the long-term trend that we were looking at, and then you can start to say, okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't mean to cough into the mic. I I notice that I do that sometimes. I go back and listen to the video sometimes to make sure that the quality is good. Um, but I did, it's mainly just because I like to hear myself talk because I'm just a super genius. But uh, but yeah. So then you can start to talk about getting pushed down to uh to these lower levels, right? Which would be three thousand on spy, which is you know I, I mean SPX, which is like. 300 ish on on spy um but you, you got a long way to go before you get there right i, I kind of always was saying that 350 ish was was a good healthy um zone for spy to find recovery um and you've kind of gotten there right you've gotten down to like 360 i believe what was a low yeah 362 so you, so you're definitely working in that region now um so if anything, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the bullish opportunity on the macro sense, right? I'm not looking. I, don't, I just, again, I find it very unlikely that institutions are going to want to cause the big push down from a bottom like this. I think that they're going to want to cause a relief rally and then a big push down in that sort of way. That's where the money is made for them. They make money long. They get everybody to buy their longs up here, and then they, they sell short when everybody's very excited about the market and make a big cash out. Um, probably wash out some of their institutional rivals or whatever, <laughs> and then and then the bull market continues probably. And then what what ends up happening here long term is 
you have this big nasty rising wedge that you're developing um where probably you know i don't know let's say you know 20 years from now <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, SPX is trading up at like uh sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars and it gets sent down to the Stone Age at like five thousand, which is above where we are now, dude. Like so good luck, you know. Um <laughs> hopefully you, you, uh, your house doesn't doesn't get burnt up in a fire. Uh so yeah. Make sure you go back and watch the video again. Get some of these key lines. We'll get our clothes here in a minute. Uh get some of these key lines that I drew out here. AMC <laughs> Excuse me. Jeez, dude. My allergies. Uh, let me... I don't know what is going on with TradingView, but I cannot just go straight to a chart anymore. I gotta, like, do this weird thing. Let's look at GME right quick. I'm gonna get our close here shortly. Yeah, GME up 3.5% on the day. So memes holding up strong in these conditions. Um, Bitcoin, crypto holding up strong. Uh, even though, and look, here you go. You're getting a, you're getting a rally on SPY right now. Let's see. Here you go. This is, so are we in post? Yeah, we're in post market now. You've already gotten bumped up here. I'm, I'm totally expecting this, this move. Totally expecting this move. I think puts are, puts are gonna, puts are gonna be good. I mean, maybe, the, maybe they try and dry out puts tomorrow a little bit, um, so that they can get nice, uh, nice contract value. So, Maybe instead, what it looks like is this more drawn out move, and then they and then they send it down. But I'm totally expecting a failed retest here, guys. Um, that's that's my expectation. That's that's how I would be. I would be if tomorrow is a stale day. <laughs> I would not. I would not be particularly unless I just see a bunch of green volume coming in here. But I think this is a fake out. Um, that's what I think. Let's see. So this this bounces probably off of a local fib here, off of this move. Yeah, so you have your 707, obviously, because that's how the world works. Um, and yeah, I think you're gonna you're gonna fail here. You're gonna come down. You're gonna test 377.5 probably on Wednesday is what I would be expecting. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I'm seeing it. <clears throat> Again, AMC holding up pretty strong in these conditions continues to prove me wrong in the very short term. I have been bullish since the bottom here, but I have been calling for, you know, shorter term pullbacks. But for a continued rally and all, you can go back and watch the videos uh, if you don't believe me. But uh, it's, it's impressed me with its ability to hold up, especially in these sorts of conditions and have these shorter retraces than, than, uh, really what it normally has been doing in, in, uh, in the recent history that we've been covering the stock. So, uh, that's good news for a lot of my viewers. I know that for sure. Um, I did see an interesting TikTok, uh, and I think that I want to, I think I want to start posting on TikTok. So I might, um, I might actually do a, uh, what do they call that when you stitch it? Is that what it's called? A stitch, um, to this TikTok. So if you want to follow me there, my, my TikTok, can you turn on post notifications or something on TikTok? Go follow me. I'll, uh, I'll put it on the screen. Let's see if I can do that. Apparently my, um, my normal name isn't just available there so i'm gonna have to oh dude i might actually change this but if i change it i'll change it tomorrow um i'm gonna make it smaller so you guys can see hold on oh no that's way too small what the okay here you go so that's my uh that's my TikTok. if you want to go follow me there um and i might be posting something there so like turn on post notifications or something if that's a thing I only like and follow people on TikTok. I don't know if I do post notifications, but whatever. Regardless, if you follow me, and uh, I don't have any posts there, but go follow me there, and uh, I might be doing a stitch. It's on an, an interesting video. This guy is talking about um, how cryptocurrencies currently are being manipulated by institutions so that institutions can load up on, on cryptocurrencies the same way that they did with dot-com stocks in the mid-'90s. Uh, institutions felt like they missed the boat on those and so then they pushed the prices down um so that then they could buy some uh and he even refers to it as stealing they were stealing from uh from normal people um and i'm just in there like bro that's wyckoff theory bro <laughs> 
But um, but yeah, so I might do a TikTok on that. But regardless, I'm gonna be posting on TikTok and stuff. I definitely do want to get start started going over there. Uh, maybe snippets from here. I have a few other ideas, but make sure you follow me there. And uh, as always, the Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. That's my like main communication. Uh, my Discord is in the in the description down below. So make sure you follow me there. And that's gonna be the video. So hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, twenty minutes. 20 minutes. I've been doing good with the with the time, haven't I? Huh. What do you what do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about that? All right, have a good rest of your day, dude. Oh, it's my fiance's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, babe. She doesn't watch these videos. Well, I I don't think she does. Anyway, all right. Peace. <laughs>